Hello guys, this is Old School Gaming, and my name's Brian, and this is a PlayStation 3 Joypad, which has been messing me about. I mean, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, you run along, as soon as you move your joypad slightly, he starts jumping in the air, shooting his guns off, doing whatever, making stupid movements. So, what I've done is I've taken it apart. I wasn't even going to do a video today, but I thought I might do it, because I think I might have found the problem of why this happens, but I'm not sure. I'm going to give it a go. But, here we have a pad which goes on to, I think it goes on to this pad here, like carbon co contacts or something by there. And basically, I think what is happening is there's some corrosion on there. It needs a clean, maybe. It doesn't really look very corroded, if you see. But um, I think that's the problem. There is, there is actually one little chip in here. I don't think you can see that, but there's a little chip right there. And on the edge of the pins there, can you see slight discoloration? That is slightly rusty on the one pin. And I think and maybe it was that that was the problem, but I'm not so sure because, like I said, it works fine. You can run around, do anything you want on it, but as soon as you touch it, as soon as you move your hand or something to try and shoot somebody or something, you just go like springboarding into the air like a kangaroo. <laughs> so, it could, like I said, it could be the chip, but we're going to give it a try. I'm going to clean this bit up. And then I'm going to test it out and then I'll get back to you then with maybe another video if this one's too long to tell you if it actually worked because it could be an easy fix for this if it's that chip I doubt I'm going to get another chip and that chip to be honest would be quite hard for me to desolder because it's quite a few pins if you could get a brand new chip, I could probably just cut that one off somehow and then just quite easily dissolve the um, what's left of it and then put a new one on. But I don't think I'm going to get a new chip for that. I think I'd, I think it'd probably be cheaper to just and easier to just buy a new joypad, wouldn't it? Really, but all right, little pad. Watch out if you're lifting this thing. A little pad has just fallen out from underneath it. I don't even know why I'm lifting it to be honest, but I did want to have to sort of. Pull it out a bit just to see if I can clean it easier. Right, I haven't got any isopropanol alcohol or anything like that. Wait there, mate, just going off. Yeah, the pads do look a bit, the pads do look a bit tired like, but um, trying to think what I can clean it with now. Maybe a bit of vinegar. I don't know if that would do the trick. I might actually try that. Let's try it, shall we? A bit of vinegar on a cotton swab. Trying to think now, vinegar would be really, really good for this. It's a sort of acid, isn't it? Acidic. Um, hmm. I wonder if rubbing a pencil. Do you think rubbing a pencil on there would do good? Like the carbon off the pencil? Hmm. I'm not sure. That's quite good, usually, sometimes, isn't it? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a cotton bud. Yes, I'd run off across the kitchen looking for our hot buds. Oh, got a tiny bit of vinegar here left, lads, so we're going to try this. I know if you've got if you've got old coins or something like that when you're metal detecting, it's good to put some um, brain sauce on them. <laughs> it cleans them up. That's, I think that's because it's maybe partly because the brain sauce has got like a vinegar content to it. Now we're going to... Um, we're going to give them a rub with some vinegar. I'm going to give it a rub to get the remaining vinegar. Am I even on the right side? Yeah, I'm on the right side, guys. I didn't feel I was on the right side then. Cause I'm trying to keep this in camera and it's quite far away from my face, so... 
my eyesight ain't as good as it used to be, so don't really look dirty. Well, it looks slightly. Like I said, the pins weren't that dirty anyway, but I'm going to give them a rub as well. I'm not sure if I should be rubbing vinegar on these, to be honest, but let's give it a try and see what happens. Right, I'm giving it a rub right with the dry end now, just to thinking of no I won't rub it with some water to clean it. <laughs> I don't think water's very good for things like this, but um well, I reckon I'll do. Hopefully the vinegar won't cause more damage now. <laughs> no, it shouldn't do a sight. You can get isopropanol alcohol which is really good for this type of thing. But like I said I ain't got none so let's check on it backstage. They still don't look that good. They sort of seem tarnished, if you know what I mean. I don't want to try scraping them because that's going to be too. That's going to be too evasive, isn't it? So I'm going to put it back together. And I'm going to try it now. Maybe it's just like. Maybe simply taking it apart and giving it a. Push back together, might have even done the trick, you know. But what it is, is if you've got a controller like this, and it is faulty, like with the same symptoms I just talked about. Oh, one of me rumble, um, one of me rumble, um, I can't remember what it's called now, rumble motors. It's just basically wire is just come and <laughs> detached from the circuit board but that doesn't really bother me because I can solder that back on sometime I'll leave it off for now I can't about to get soldering out on it at the minute I just because I don't know I don't want it shorting on any well it'll be alright should be alright don't really um I want to get the soldering iron out at the minute, especially as I don't know if this actually is going to work, so. So I mean, maybe that hasn't been, because see that squeezes down on there, if it's not tight enough. It won't be making a good contact, is it? And when, if you banged the controller on the side like that, you would just jump in the air as well, so. So I mean that that must have been loose up there moving about then so that must have been it so I don't think it's that chip although it's got a bit of corrosion on the oh well it's just come back off again <laughs> oh, this is this is the awkward part now putting it back together so it's the same in it but um let's get it so watch out these controllers see some of them have got Rather delicate bits inside where the two circuit boards join together and things. So, like an Xbox 360 controller is the worst one to take apart, I feel like. This one is pretty, seems, I was off camera then, sorry guys, I was just trying to. This ain't the best video in the world, is it? <laughs> Me trying to get the controller back together, but. I can't I can't see where the pit where the screw goes in now, so sorry a minute guys, but I'm gonna go behind the camera again. I'm gonna have a quick look with my little eyeglass. My watchmaker's eyeglass, if you ever got a chance to pick one of them up. It's a number three. <laughs> it's a good thing for Well at the moment I'm at a dead end because I can't see where the screw goes back in. There's quite a lot of bits of hair and stuff in here as well, so it out. Right, I'm going to stick it back on anyway. I'm going to stick it back together. So, and then as soon as I have I left anything out? Oh, wait there. I better make sure those rubber bits are. Ah, 
I was going to make sure the rubber bits were in all right, but it's just clipped back together now, so. Oh. Done fluff. <laughs> oh, well. This is completely in the raw, this video site. I'm not going to edit it. This is going to be a completely in the raw. It's the sort of thing you can expect when you open the controller. Unless you've done it a lot of times before. It's like the more times you do it, things like this. Like the easier it is. Yeah, I got I had that around the wrong way. There's a little um slot here and it has to be the right way around. I just had mine the wrong way around, I didn't realise. There was a way around, if you know what I mean. Didn't realise there was a certain way around. Right. Let's get this back on. Hang on, I think I, did I just see the screw hole? I can see lots of holes in I can see lots of holes in here, but I can't really see one. There's a pin under it, so I'm thinking it's actually on here. Oh, it is on here, look. There's only one on here, which that might be partly why it's easy to come loose. But now this is the most awkward part. Omg, man! <laughs> I know. Leave the circuit board off for now. Leave the circuit board off. Oh well, the other side of the rumble just come off now too, so... I'm not really worried about that though, you know. Like I said, I can easily solder it back on. Don't even have to take this front part off again. Tempted to rip the other one off too, but... Yeah, it says where the colours are. Black is grey and it? Anyway, let's just get this back in. It is... Awkward. I don't know why it is, but uh, that's because the rumble motors actually join. They clip on by right here. The rumble motors are little clips. Oh yes, it's clipping nice. Um, it's clipping nicely. So then, then you just get this. on the top of that one like a little bit of stuck out where it hooks over just having a hard time getting over there you go then I'll sort of push it down in there. check the buttons work hopefully they do because I hate it when you put something back together and, and there you go you have to take it apart again because something I'm going in right right where have I put that screw there it is Right, this little screw now goes in by here. Right by there. You should know anyway if you took it apart in the first place. Try it myself. I've got this really bad memory. I take things apart. Even when I look where bits go. I think most people on here, if you take something apart, even when you look where bits go, you just forget anyway, don't you? So filming it or take a picture of it, it's good because then you can just refer back to it. Mm, I think that sure did that just get pushed up? Did it just get pushed up? Maybe this one's the same that button doesn't seem like it's in the right place. Except the other side I think it's just that little rubber bit. It's supposed to be down in there no? I'm not sure to be honest. Um now these are going to be a pain in the bum, aren't they? Um, hopefully I won't break them. If I do, that's game over, isn't it? If I was to... Yeah, they're going to be a bit there. But it feels like there's a... Yeah, there's actually a pin and it's actually in there anyway, I think.
There you go, that one seems good now. Let's just, let's just get it in as soon as I can because there you go, nice line there. It's starting to um get on me friggin' tits. Not that I got tits, but I did that one, but ah, oh, man tits. <laughs> right, stop this stupid talk now. Get this back together. OMG man. <laughs> there is that is that in? The other, the other one seemed to sort of fit in nice and sort of fit in nicely this one just seems to be testing its luck a bit if you know what I mean. Okay, my patience right then there you go. I think they're in good. Oh no. <laughs> now I gotta get these in. Ah, oh, just dropped it. Um I don't I think so. Oh, that says it will see what went on there. But, well, that's upside down now. Eh? Oh. What the fuck are in that way? I don't know what now. Because the one will be upside down and the numbers if you go up the right way. Now. So now we're putting these in. Which is Going in too well. Yep, we got the one in. We got it in. Oh, yes, baby. Now, just gotta get the other one in. I could have sworn they was up the other way, though. I even had it up on my camera. See what I mean? You forget, don't you? Um, I'm going slightly mad. Oh, shit. Sure. I just swear the word there, but. There you go. Oh, got it in. Got it in. Right. Um, now you got us. You got a little bit of a spring on this one, so Let's just see what kind of stuff. Oh, that's that's easy enough. Oh no, because I haven't put the spring in right. Why am we done right there now? Well, that goes there, don't it? But it's like it's not sprung and all, so let's pull it back out. I even work. Yes. I see I didn't I'll press it down. But ah I see, I see the spring up to be now we've got a bit of spring action there. Hopefully that one was springing off across the room now. See the little spring you have to sort of you have to sort of hook it into that little area there and then push them down on oh, that's thick. That is just so nice to take apart and put back together this controller. See that doesn't still doesn't seem I'm not gonna tighten this screw immensely because it's just gonna it's gonna pack through the circuit board and do more damage than, than it need be. So Oh my god, this is just this is just one of the best controls to take part ever I've ever had. I know I was struggling a bit there, but that was pretty easy to be honest. That wasn't too hard at all. Right now, I'm going to put it back together. I'll do the clean as well. It's got the old. Got the screw holes. Right then, let's get screwing. The screws are quite small as well. You need quite a small screwdriver for these. The screws are like. in so tight and the screw head is it's like tough, quite tight to sort of screw in and the back of the screw head is quite small so unless you've got like a tiny screwdriver like this I was tempted to even get my slightly smaller one but there's one screw left now and put in so there it is I got it I had it in a black container and the screws are black so I didn't really see it Just make sure they're like tightened up slightly and they're good. So, right, I could take you now, take you on a journey, on a little trip, to go and test this thing. Shove my glasses on. 
Take you on a journey. Right, let's see if this thing actually works right now instead of doing another video. Ooh, we've gone into the dark. Right, let's plop you down there. Black Ops 3, here you go. Don't know how good that's going to be. Don't have to be too good though, does it? Just a quick, quick game of Black Ops. To show if it works or not. Ah, uh, problem now, I've got the other controller on. I think that shut itself off anyway, so if I unplug it. Oh, I just realised something I didn't put. I hope this works now about it. It says number two, so. Ah, oh, the other one's still married up as number one, so. What I'm going to have to do is take this controller off, and I, so. If I can remember how to do it. Let's see. It's going to. Settings. Chat system. I forgot how to do this now. I did see it the other day. Um, music, video, game. Game settings. No. No. Accessory settings. Reassign controllers. Controller one, controller two. And then we want this one. That's controller one. Oh yes, hopefully this should work. Oh, yes. Now we're, that was an instructional video on how to do that as well. <laughs> so I only just learned to do that the other day. Right, let's bang the controller a bit. Oh, we're giving it a bang on the side and a shake. It doesn't seem to be doing anything nasty at the minute. So let's find a match. See if it works now. See if this has um, solved the problem. It seems to have at the moment. It's not even banging about it's not even like jumping when I bang it it's not even like going through the options and everything I did forget to put the rechargeable battery back in here so I've got it plugged in at the minute but as soon as I plug it I'm gonna have to take the bag off again that's all and sounds like seeing rattly inside <laughs> I think I left a bit of broken plastic or something there too. let's give it a go I think we've actually done it guys I think it's been an easy fix for this controller. And we'll have a little quick go now. God, has it really been this long? 20 odd minutes this video. Go on, my favourite double guns and shotgun. Give it a shake. No. Oh, yes. See? I'm chuffed now because this is my favourite controller. So. What's he doing? Come on, guys. I think my battery's running low, so... I don't know if that... Oh, I'm pressing OK on my blooming tablet because the battery's going low. I thought I fully charged that, but it has been 23 minutes, hasn't it? So... Surprise! <laughs> it's your birthday. <laughs> Come on. See someone jump on my head then. I'm seeing things I am now, guys. Right. I seen someone on my back. Ah. I should have just kept running forward, shouldn't I? And just there's someone in front of me as well. Oh, jumped a mile then. Scared the hell at me. Right. Death from the skies, motherfucker. Clean kill. I think there's someone else by there though. Oh, 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 nearly felt my death. <laughs> That'll teach me, won't it? Am I reloaded? Yeah. Oh, flipping heck. Jumped a mile then. That was some bad shooting then. Just getting used to this joystick again now because my other joystick. 
pad I had was like a some sort of weird gaming pad and the joy the other joystick was like offset from where it usually is on these controllers. That's why I didn't like it so much. It felt like the left stick was offset where it usually is on its normal pad, so it felt like a bit wonky as I was playing. Oh look, they've all gone in there, haven't they? Surprise guys! Shoot. Oh no. I thought I'd safe out the way and I'd put that on, so I think. Anyone in there? Have a nice day. Because <laughs> I know I've a nice day. Taking you lot down. The guy's going inside him. You know he's there. That person dead? No. Ooh, I thought that person was dead then. Tricking me like that, eh? Shoot, where'd you go? Damn it. Oh, you got him. Or oh, her. Yeah. <laughs> the character was a hit. Of it. Ooh! Shooting me. Friendly UAV inbound. Yo, oh, guys. Ah, oh, didn't quite get my shotgun out quick enough, eh? Oh, is that a friendly light to strike? Oh. Let's go through the water again, is it? You reckon there's anyone coming there? Now, nah, let's go this way, actually. Let's go through the cave. Ah, oh, guys, what are you doing? Let's go down here and do the... I hate when people nick this from here. Care it's like half the time if I'm playing and someone drops a package like that, I'll shoot the guy, but sometimes I'll even just stand there and wait till he picks up his package and then I'll just shoot him as soon as he's gone. Because I hate nicking it off people, because I hate it when people nick it off me, so I'm sort of like, I try not to do it. Someone knows I'm down here now. Let's think what they're doing. What is this again? I can't remember what this is. Oh, it's just UAV. I got that's all I got was UAVs. Usually I get something really good. Oh no. I ran into that, didn't I? I ran straight into that. Was someone looking at me up there? No retreat, no surrender. I'm gonna die, so oh, I think I took him out quickly before I died. <laughs> was it worth a kill? Just get, getting killed myself? Yes, I think it was. See if anyone's hiding up around here. No. Usually everyone. Whoa, everyone hogs this place on it. Ah, was that someone stood behind me too? The place is full of those things. So I think what I'll do. I will. Don't know if it's anyone in there, but if it's not likely they're down here. Ooh. I couldn't figure out if that thing shooting then was the bad bad guys ones, the enemies ones, or it was whatever it say was. I would have concentrated my fire on that if I'd no. So I my buddies. <laughs> Mates. No, that's the eyes, I think, because it's, it's got like a blue. Oh, what'd I do? <laughs> Try to take on a guy shooting a shotgun in my face, didn't I? Oh, I tried to stab him. I think someone else killed him, man. I think that was him. Whoa, battery low again. And I'm, okay, I know. <laughs> Sorry, guys, if the video runs out now in a couple of seconds, then it's because the battery's low. I don't think I've got any many points for the team, have I? But I was doing good first of all, but now I'm not really doing that well. Oh, scared that this one's controlling that, isn't they? Oh, flip. Whoa, 
I'm getting like scares here from my own teammates. That was not my kill. Yes, that's my kill. Gotta get used to using this joypad again now. That's my excuse anyway. <laughs> behind me. My team. Who won that? Who did so? Oh, no way! <laughs> no way! I am having lots of bad luck with those stupid red blob things. I hate them. <laughs> They're one of my pet hates in this game. And wall banging as well. I hate wall banging when someone shoots you through a wall. There's lots of times you skid a line to just about get past the wall. I think you're safe. Yes, I made it. I'm safe. I'm not gonna die. And then you just get shot through the wall. It's like, what? Have a nice day. Ooh. Ah, no. I know why I'm not winning, because I'm not. Ooh, I'm not the Gravity Spikes guy, guy which I usually am. So, that's my other excuse. Nah, I'm, I like being both of them. I like being this character too, because the, um... Ooh, the grenade launch is a good thing. Blimey, I need... I think people are going to come out. No. Someone down here, though. Come on, I need to get more points. I had practice on this game. I sort of only just put it back on. Oh, no! Stupid reload. I only just put it back on after, um... Oh, yes. Yesterday is sort of after not playing it for a long time. Ooh. 